Hey guys, welcome to Budget G. Today we're going to be working on changing out the water pump. Now, a few days ago we noticed in our driveway we had a nice little puddle of antifreeze going. So we decided, okay, you know, let's just go ahead and play it safe. And we got a whole new water pump here. And uh, we figured since we're going to be replacing the water pump, we're going to go ahead and change out the thermostat and all the hosing as well. Um, now, since we're going to have the whole system apart anyways, we figured this is going to be a perfect time to go ahead and do a flush and a clean of the whole radiator and the cooling system. This way, we're not going to get any debris or particulates in the new water pump. So stick around. Let's get to work. Okay. First thing I noticed is that this conglomeration of stuff is right in the way for all the work we're going to do. So it's time for it to go. I have a new bumper. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, so I have, it's a Torx. I would suggest you go get a whole set of these. I got mine at Harbor Freight, very affordable. Um, take four bolts off, it's out of the way. When it, when it comes back, gone, out of my way. Now, we've already pulled the bottom two out. Actually, it was missing the bottom two. So we only have the top two to take off. And then these bumpers, if you've never seen it, are super complicated to remove. You grab one person on either side, and you lift it straight forward, and it's off. And the ugly goes with it. Okay, we've drained the antifreeze out of here per instructions so what we're going to do is put this in top it off with water start it run it for 10 minutes I am NOT locked into any one brand this was the only one I could find on the shelf that said cleaner and flush so that's what we're gonna put in the antifreeze came out looking like its original color so I'm not particularly worried about this but it never hurts to clean out the the holes in the things that run through the block and everything else. So, like I said, that's in. Push it back out in the driveway, run it for five minutes, 10 minutes, according to directions. And uh, then we're gonna let it cool, obviously, drain it back out. We're gonna, put some, we're gonna top this off with water right now. Already flushed the radiator. I put a uh, flush cleaner in there, as you saw. We ran it through. Got it out, left it sit overnight. Um, got it hot, let it cool down. Have drained it all out, took it out, flushed the whole system. I, what I did is I um, removed the thermostat from here so that the water could flow through all the way. Left it idle with a hose here and a pan there to pick everything up. Um, after we were done, I got this off YouTube. We took an air hose, air compressed air, and blew out the heater core, which lives back in here where those two wires connect, and got all the air out as to not dilute our uh, new antifreeze that we're gonna put in there in a little bit. Um, we also did the same over here on the, um, this is the overflow for the radiator that, um, it runs, it goes in here when it's warm and it goes back in. We flushed this out, blew it out, again, got all the water out of everything, blew out the radiator, and um, now we're going to remove this and the belt and the clutch fan and the water pump, and we're gonna see what's going on. But I do have one thing to show you, and I'll be right back to show that to you. Um, what we did is we removed the, um, the big shroud. It makes a lot more room to, to, uh, to work. It goes all the way up to here, and it was four bolts on the outside. Now, the thing I want to show you that this is a warning sign is I took these four bolts out to, um, uh, to remove the shroud. Real easy. But if you will look, not one of them is identical. This one's got a nut on the end. It's like that. This one's got 
um, a nylon washer on to hold it in. This tells me they went around their garage and gathered up nuts to put things back together. Very concerning for me. I'm going to pay extra attention to things that I take off and make sure bolts match, things look the same, and they're the right product. Uh, these are all going to be replaced. I don't know with what, but I'll figure that out really soon. Uh, also, when I took the thermostat out here, there was um, Permatex covering the hole that feeds the heater. That hole was plugged all the way across. It wasn't working, so they just kind of gooped it on there, slapped it on, and these bolts were very, very loose. Um, we're going to go back to what we talked about with the torque wrench. When this all goes back together, everything's going to get torqued. Maybe I'm wrong and they were plenty tight enough, but I discovered that the leak that we had was in there. That gasket was sopping wet and torn, and I don't, I don't think it's the water pump that was leaking. I think it was the um, thermostat housing, but the water pump sounds kind of grungy, and I, we used a stethoscope and put it on there, and we could hear grinding in there. I'm this far in, it's gonna get replaced with a brand new one. All right, guys, so we've gone ahead and we removed these two bolts here, and we're just gonna go ahead and pull this off and let's show you exactly what it looks like here. We're just gonna set this out of the way, and that's the condition that everything was in. There's the back side of the water pump housing. And there's all that. So we're going to have to clean all of this stuff off so we can get a nice, good, tight seal on the new one. So it's really hard to tell, but right here where I'm pointing, that's actually the bypass for the heater core. Um, and let's see if I can get a better angle on it here. Yeah, your hand and away. And let's see if I can pull some of this out. So yeah, we're going to take some time here and get this all cleaned up and then we'll sh come back and show it to you after we've cleaned everything up. Okay, our next step. I'm going to remove this clutch fan and this pulley. Now, everything I've read says to remove the fan belt. For the life of me, I cannot find a tensioner. I found this guide, but it actually has very little tension on there to remove the belt. So I don't quite know how I'm gonna do it. Um, I know when I pull this off, this pulley's gonna come off, it's gonna go blink, and it's gonna come off. But I don't know the proper way to do this. I have looked at books, I have looked at uh, online, and this particular setup, if it had the air conditioning, which it doesn't, it would be a, a, a gimme. It's, it's really um, set up to do that. But, I don't know how this works. So first things first, I'm gonna pull the, um, gonna loosen these four bolts, pull the clutch off delicately. You don't wanna damage this at all. Um, and see what we have. So these four bolts are also gonna be just half inch, at least those are the ones for us. Um, hopefully yours are the same. Tech tip, just discovered. To remove these bolts, make sure you remove, you at least loosen them good before you remove your uh, V-belt. And we had to push this because this whole thing will turn very easily and you won't get the torque on there and it'll make fits. So just before you remove this, just loosen these bolts so you can get this whole area off. And the way we're doing it is we're just using a, a, a breaker bar here and we're just putting some pressure down on the belt and that holds it enough to be able to break down, break these nuts loose without turning the belt. Okay, something else I wanted to show you guys. I finally found the belt tensioner. And it's right here under the um, um, this power steering pump. And if you look right back here, you will see there is no nut on it. So they've left that off. Again, it's gonna take a lot of looking to get everything done. This pipe here, solid pipe, goes to the heater core. You gotta put this on your new one. So be 
aware of your angle or put it on kind of loose and then tighten it down. This looks like a regular uh, plumbing fitting. We'll check that out later. Uh, the water pump didn't look that bad, uh, but you can see where it has leaked right there. So I don't know, but um, it wasn't put on. Some of these bolts were very, very loose, and we're going to look up the torque settings in a minute here. Some were very tight. Now is my favorite time. We get to scrape the gaskets and clean the, the footings in here. We've cleaned up all the old gasket material, Hermitex, all that other good stuff. I personally, all the pieces are clean, thermostat housing, new water pump, and the pieces in here. I personally like to come back with some alcohol and really get everything cleaned up. Uh, I've been splashing some water out of the engine block on there and I just like to have it nice and clean. I figure everything's going to stick better um, with some alcohol. And we'll show you what we're doing here. I just want to lightly rub everything. That surface, this surface here, all done. My paper towel is shredding really nicely. That has come off the surface. Permatex can't stick to that. And now I'm going to Permatex it and start putting everything back together. Uh, neat little tool I just got. I didn't just get it. I got it for my son for Christmas the other day. But I like it because you start your bolts by hand and then you keep getting that with your finger trying to do that and tearing them up. Put a socket in there. It's a little ratchet works like a champ um, to draw it up. Now we're getting ready to torque. This is 20 foot pounds. We've written that down on the whiteboard behind you. Looked up the book, wrote it down so I can just glance it. We're at 20, perfect. And um, I only have two bolts here to do. If you have more, do them across from each other. It's probably a lot better. I don't know for sure that that's the case, but I would do it like that. Thermostat housing is installed, water pump is installed. It's time to hook up some hoses and um, pressure test it. Did a beautiful job on this, really, really happy. The um, water pump's good, Permatex, everything's torqued to perfect torques. Uh, we discovered that the hose that we got was um, too tight, so we whipped on down to the auto store and got some hose. And we're waiting in line to check out and I'm going through my mind how nice and easy everything's working and how good it looks. And all of a sudden it dawns on me. The thermostat didn't get put into the thermostat housing. So apart it goes. Okay, we finished it up. Um, just a little brief summary, all of, all the um, entire cooling system has totally been redone. We've got a new hose, hoses, all four, one down on the bottom, new thermostat, new water pump, everything's been cleaned up, Permatex really good, um, antifreeze been added, new fresh antifreeze, flushed, cleaned. This thing shouldn't give us any problems whatsoever. So, on to the next project.